Andre Florier, um, two questions. Question 12a. The mechanism for creating fullerenes is not yet fully understood. What would be the most likely explanation for their formation? Well, it's pretty complicated, but um, it's quite clear that carbon is one of the fastest nucleating compound, uh, atoms or elements that we have. Um, if, you, if you make it, it zips up to thousands very quickly uh, from a, a hot plasma. Um, and carbon molecules and graphites, uh, these are, don't actually melt. Um, in fact, no one's seen liquid graphite, to my knowledge, or liquid diamond. Um, but I think what happens is that from carbon atom plasma that we produce with a laser when we vaporize graphite, um, carbon chains first form, I think, carbon, um, linear carbon linearish carbon, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, <clears throat> and so on. And my colleague David Walton really had a brilliant way of making long carbon chain molecules with just things on the end. So it was quite clear you could make a carbon chain up to 30 or more carbon atoms. My guess is what is happening in the range when they get up to the 18, 19, 20 other things are forming and we think that there are also monocyclic rings in which the chain turns into a, a bead chain, you know, a ring of carbon atoms in a monocyclic ring. I think that's now been proven by some really neat science by John Meyer's group in Basel and it was conjectured many years ago by theoreticians. Um, and then around 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 I think these coalesce um, and um, into cages and these cages may, we're pretty sure, and we've got some results here, um, a student Paul Dunk working with myself and Alan Marshall out of the Mag Lab, <coughs> we've shown that there are definitely species with 28 carbon atoms which are cages. There's, there's circumstantial but nevertheless pretty definitely cage structures. So at that point, if you've got these little balloons, if you wish, I think what happens then is carbon atoms and carbon molecules uh, coalesce into this and are sort of um, ingested into this um, network, spheroidal ne network, into C4, 40, 50, and so on. And when they hit C60, they hit the first stable structure. Now C60 is the first stable fullerene. And at that point there's a cul-de-sac and so a lot get locked into that. Some go shooting on to 70 and others to higher ones and we get uh, something like um, uh, carbon plasma as you, as you get these you, and you extract them. 10% of the soot, which are large particles, are in the form of fullerenes and sort of like, um, I don't know, 80 to 90% of C60, uh, about 10% C70 and a few percent are now all the others with more and more carbon atoms, then of course nanotubes and many other things. So basically I think that you have this cage forming uh, for the smaller levels and then others uh, are being ingested into this structure and they stop when they get to C60 and that's why C60 is strong. So hand waving and I think that's about as far as I'm prepared to go. It's just very very complicated and people have been looking at combustion process for 50 years and um, theorizing, theorizing and doing experiments and they missed C60 so um, I'm not sure they got it right but I don't know. Um, it's, it's very complicated and I think the best theory is my theory where it all comes together. Best I can do.